Hello and welcome to my channel Econ Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to uh, detect uh, heteroscedasticity and how to remove it. So, do like the video and subscribe to my channel. I will show you both step by step. So, first of all, uh, we will select the dependent variable and then all our independent variables. Uh, and then we will right click and go to open, open as equation. Here you can see that uh, GDP is the dependent variable while all these are independent variables and the C is the intercept term. The method we will select LS or least square and we will click on OK. The estimated table shows the result of uh, regression. So uh, we will first go to for checking heteroscedasticity we will first go to view and then to residual diagnostics. Here we will go to heteroscedasticity test. Uh, here are some uh, four to five tests. Uh, all of them give same results. So we can check any one of them. Uh, let's suppose we want to check the first one. So we will click on OK. Uh, we select the brush Pagan Godfrey test and we will click on OK. Here we will mostly concern with the pro uh, observed R square and the respective probability of uh, chi square uh, of ob uh, the res respective uh, chi square prob probability of observed R squares. So we are mostly concerned with this row. Here uh, in this row we will mostly concern with the probability of chi square. Uh, and here the null hypothesis that there is no heteroscedasticity in the model. This is the null hypothesis that there is no heteroscedasticity in the model which is desirable. Uh, while the alternative hypothesis is that there is heteroscedasticity in the model which is not desirable. So uh, the key here if the probability of this chi-square is below 0 0.05 uh, or below 5 percent then we will reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis that there is heteroscedasticity in the model while if the probability is above 0 0.05 or above 5 percent then we will accept null hypothesis that there is no heteroscedasticity in the model so in this case you can see that the probability is almost 0 or uh, 0 percent which is less than 5% or less than 0 0.05 so we will reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis that there is heteroscedasticity in the model. So now we have direct detected uh, how to, uh, now we have detected heteroscedasticity now uh, we will remove it. So I will show you how to remove it. So we will again go to estimate output and uh, now we will estimate uh, go to estimate here we will convert all the variables I should write it here uh, we will convert all variables into log form So when we convert all variables, the dependent and all of independent variables into log form, then heteroscedasticity will be removed. Now I will uh, show you practically. Uh, first of all, we will go to estimate. Here we will just uh, put log with every variable, and uh, we will bracket the uh, the variable will be in brackets. So. Uh, I will show you here that uh, we will write log 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 bracket open and GDP and bracket close space log with uh, government spending bracket open and bracket close log with investment and bracket close 
log with uh, exports uh, bracket open and bracket closed log with imports bracket open and bracket close sorry we will not uh, convert log or uh, we will not convert uh, intercept into log form so we have converted all our variables into log form uh, what this command do this command first convert all variables into log form and then uh, estimate the equation so uh, this this com these commands automatically convert all variables into log form so now we will click on ok now again we will go to you can see that these uh, all variables are converted into log form and the G GDP uh, dependent variable is also converted into log form now we will go to view and to again residual diagnostics and again to heteroscedasticity test we will uh, we will select the same test as in the previous and we will click on ok now if you check the observed R square and the probability attached to it you can see that uh, the probability has changed uh, and observed R square is also changed now what was our key our key was um, if the probability of this chi square if the probability of this chi square um, is below 0 0.05 or uh, the probability of this chi square is below 0 0.05 or below 5% then we will reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis while if the probability of this chi square is above 0 0.05 or above 5% so, so then we will uh, accept null hypothesis that there is no heteroscedasticity in the model so now you can see that th this probability is 0 0.22 which is greater than uh, five, uh, 0 0.05 and uh, it can also be called as a 22 percent so which is also greater than uh, which is also greater than 5 percent so now we will accept uh, we will accept null hypothesis that there is no heteroscedasticity in the model so uh, you can see you, you have seen that we have first uh, checked how uh, to check heteroscedasticity in the model we have checked it uh, and then we we have also removed heteroscedasticity from that model so uh, this is from today tutorial you can uh, see my other tutorials on my channel so do like the video and subscribe to my channel bye for now